All right, this is my review of Forgotten Anne. Um, it's a pretty good game. It's an anime-style adventure story game uh, with a few puzzle elements, uh, a little bit of climbing and platforming, but mostly like a puzzly kind of thing. Uh, but but the big draw is, is the graphics and the animation. It's it's rendered like like an, an a cartoon. Uh, everything is animated. It's a very low frame rate, so it's kind of jittery. Uh, but even the cutscenes are animated in that same frame rate and that same composition, that same style. So it feels very natural. It feels like you're playing a cartoon. So despite the low frame rate, the animation quality is excellent. There's only a few minor problems that I have problems with where characters, for example, when, they, when they're facing right, they look one way. And when they're facing left, it's obvious that it's a mirror of that character. Their their model, you know, they'll have a they'll have an eye patch on one eye, and then when they look the other direction, the eye patch moves to the other eye because it's just they mirrored the, the, the pixels, they mirrored the sprite. It's lazy animation, but it doesn't happen very often. So despite those problems and the and the low frame rate, I'm still gonna give the graphics like a nine. It's 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 very, very strong. It's a very good game. Uh, as far as gameplay goes, uh, the puzzles are the puzzles are good. They're not terribly intuitive. They take a little bit of, of trial and error. Uh, there was a couple of times I got stuck because I wasn't exactly sure what to do. And there's also a couple of times I got stuck because the controls were weird. The controls are a little wonky sometimes and not always as responsive as I'd like them to be. So for gameplay... I'm unfortunately going to have to give it like a six. Audio is fantastic. The audio, there's spoken dialogue, recorded dialogue all the way through. Um, the, the music is good. The, the, the dialogue is good. I'm going to give it an eight. And the story is a ten. The story is a ten. It's a fantastic story so far. Uh, it's kind of a, you, you know, you don't really know who your character is. Um, you, you think your character thinks she knows, but it's clear that there's more than meets the eye and maybe I'm being lied to and, and the motivations of the people involved are gray, you know, they're, they're convoluted. They're not, they're not just black and white. It's, it's, it's a very complicated story so far and, um, I like it. Uh, there's a lot of times decision-making, uh, in, influences how the game changes like you know you, you say yes or no or whatever you have to do what you have to do and and the choices that you make in the game help out uh, and change the story as you go so I, I really like that I don't know how much they change the story yet but I know that they do um, so I mean story wise I give it a 10 which brings the whole game to an 8.25 uh, it's it's fantastic. I, I definitely recommend it if you're if you're a fan of anime, especially like Miyazaki films like Spirited Away or Howl's Moving Castle, things like that, uh, or just cartoons in general. Like playing a cartoon, it's definitely a story driven game. You you want to hear the sound, you'll want to hear the dialogue, listen to the voice acting. Some of the characters, the voice actors are just they knock it out of the park. Uh, some of them they kind of phone it in. You can kind of tell, but those are background characters. You talk to them once, they only have a couple of lines. But everybody has a unique voice. There's a lot of great voices in there. There's a lot of great music in there. Um, so I definitely recommend picking up Forgotten Annie. It often goes on sale in the Nintendo eShop for about $10, for about $9.99. And so when it's for sale, I definitely recommend picking it up.